Hello, my name is Albert Gurrier, and I decided to take on a challenge. It is the chicken no spicy noodle challenge. As you can see, it says two times as spicy. So we're going to see how that is. I have water boiling right now. About to throw this in in a few moments. Uh, if you want to check Scoville units. Uh, hopefully this is clear. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, it has about 8,000 Scoville, about 9,000 Scoville units. So it's pretty hot. Um, I have tried out ghost peppers. Um, I have had a, I have, there's a friend of mine that did a video about this. Um, he says it's the second hottest thing he's ever tried. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. Also looking to see if it lives up to all these other videos that I've seen regarding it. So I'm going to go ahead and cook it. Gonna come back at you when it's done and see what pain looks like, <laughs> or hopefully not. So, be back at you with just a moment. Okay, so I've poured the spice in already, I'm about to add the flakes, and then we're gonna get down to eating. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've got everything mixed in. Flakes, there's, I think, sesame, and, like, flavor 11. I think that's what it said. Um, kind of nervous about this. Haven't tasted this yet. So, first time I'm putting this in my mouth will be the first time you will actually see what my thoughts on it is. So, we're going to go ahead and get this set up. So... Just a moment here. Okay, so. So yeah, we are about to do this. Only thing I brought with me is a glass of water. I'm gonna try to do this without drinking this. So, so like I said, first time I'm tasting this is as you're watching this right now. So. Like I said, I'm a bit nervous about this, and usually with most things, it's mostly psychological. So, and I've had hot things before, so I don't know why this makes me as nervous as it is, but from what I've seen from most, yeah, I've heard it get, get interesting. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig in, and my intent is to actually finish this bowl. No matter how hot it gets, no matter how it is or what effect it has on me, I'm going to finish this, so. so. And it is still a bit hot in terms of temperature coming off the stove, off the stove, off the range. So, here we go. First bite. And I'll try my best to describe how this tastes. <laughs> Heat hits you the inch, put it in your mouth. It's good. It has a bit of heat to it. Though sometimes with some heat, you never know if it's going to sneak up on you later. So, sometimes you get that initial kick. But then over time, it just decides to say, hey, we're going to mess with you a bit. But yeah, it does have a bit of heat. It does have a bit of spice. It's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to need the water. Because right now my mouth is burning. Like I said, it's tasting good, but my mouth is burning. My tongue feels like it's on a little bit of a fire. Might get tongue blisters later. But... Just pretty good. 
We just got two packs. But yeah, this isn't as hot as I thought it would have been. But it does have that bit of a kick to it. Mmm. Whatever's in the flakes. <clears throat> I think I'm getting to the flake aspect of it. In the back of the throat and it's like... I can feel my nose starting to clear a little bit. So yeah, you want to make it according to the package. Um, basically you boil it in about two, two and a quarter cups of water. Let it cook for about five minutes. Then when it's done, you drain out the water, but you retain a little bit of it. Um, I put oil in the pan because you have to, basically it tells you have to stir fry for about 30 seconds with the sauce in it. And then put the flakes on and then enjoy. So, of which I'm actually doing. Mm. To me, it's it's about the same heat as their other hot one. There's one that, like an entry level, which is hot, but supposedly this is supposed to be hotter. Like I said, it's it's hot, but I've had hotter to the point of suffering and and sweating and just going crazy. But like I said, this is pretty good. Hmm. Mm. It is trying to kick in. Even more, a bit more. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm putting things in and seeing certain parts of my throat just right, but the heat is kicking up a bit. I mean, my mouth literally, literally feels hot, like very hot and spicy, which obviously it's supposed to be. Mm. And yeah, it is, it is having a very late effect on, on how it impacts you. Wow. <laughs> wow. But it is very hot and flavorable. There's some things that are hot for the sake of being hot. They just want to get you. But then there are some things that you eat that has the heat, but has a flavor with it that makes it that makes it worth eating. So while you're feeling the heat, your taste buds are pleasured by by the fine flavor of it. Wow. Yeah, my my mouth is on fire right now. <laughs> Whew. Better better watch out around open flames after eating this. Mm. Almost almost done with it. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and I get the feeling that with the oil, that's probably going to make it worse. <sighs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. By the way, as I'm doing this, <laughs> if you want to throw a like in this video, throw it on YouTube. 
go ahead and do so. I would normally say subscribe, but since I probably won't be doing too many of these videos, probably won't see that, that many of those on my channel. Mm. But if you like wrestling, WWE Supercard, etc., tap on the bell icon for the notifications of videos that I do that. Otherwise, I might try to keep this up from time to time, come back at you with different spicy foods that I see challenges for, give you my take on it. If you do want to drop me a comment, feel free to do so in the box below. If you view me on Facebook, do that too. <laughs> Curious to see what you think about it. But right now, my nose is running. It's starting to run. And the impact of this definitely takes a while to get to you. But it gets to you. Definitely don't want to touch your eyes after this. So, I think I got about two, three more bitefuls in here. I can't say this much, though it has a nice buttery flavor to it. Nice hot buttery flavor to it, but a nice buttery flavor nonetheless. <sighs> yeah, that's about as much as I have left. <sighs> Almost done. Hmm. Like I said before, not the hottest thing I've ever had, but definitely a hot thing to have. <sighs> so, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed the food. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed what I was eating. <sighs> wow. But, oh. but yeah, I definitely get the feeling based on how the first bite was and how it built up over time that in wrapping this video, it's not the last I'm going to hear of it. So I do want to thank you for joining me on this visit. Thank you for bearing with me in these 12 minutes or so of of, in, of enjoyable torture. <laughs> wow. So, but yeah, if you definitely find this in a place near you and you like spicy foods, I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> so, oh, so that's going to be it for me today. So, you guys have a good day. Enjoy the. Wow, I can't talk. Can't finish this. Um. So yeah, instead of coming up with a catchy catchphrase, I'm just gonna say goodbye. See you on the flip side. <laughs>